Priceless paintings stolen from a castle at the end of World War II provided a dramatic canvas for sketching out core property principles in Kunstsammlungen zu Weimar versus Elikophon. In 1946, Edward Elikophon purchased two paintings from an American ex-serviceman in New York. The serviceman told Elikophon that he had purchased the paintings while serving in Germany. Elikophon displayed the two paintings in his home for many years. In 1966, Elikophon's friend mentioned that he had seen the two paintings before in a pamphlet about stolen art. In fact, the paintings were two priceless portraits by Albrecht Dürer. They had been on display in a museum in Germany. Dr. Walter Scheidig, the museum's director, had moved the paintings in 1943 to a nearby castle to prevent their damage from bombardment during the war. After American forces secured the area, Scheidig was able to inspect the castle on June 12, 1945, and saw both paintings there. However, when Scheidig returned on June 27, there was evidence of a break-in. An interior door and cabinets had been forced open. Paintings had been removed from storage racks and were lying all over the room. The two Dürer paintings couldn't be found. After a thorough inventory of the castle on July 19, the paintings were confirmed missing. Subsequent search efforts by Scheidig, the Allied coalition, and the United States were unsuccessful. Once he realized what the paintings really were, Elikophon publicized his possession. The federal government of Germany, then the government of West Germany, demanded the painting's return. Elikophon refused. The federal government of Germany sued Elikophon in the United States District Court for the Eastern District of New York. The Kunstsammlungen zu Weimar, German for the Weimar Art Collection, intervened as a plaintiff in the action. The KZW represented the interests of the German Democratic Republic, or the government of East Germany. The Grand Duchess of Saxony Weimar also intervened as a plaintiff. The federal government of Germany dismissed its claim. The district court then concluded that the Grand Duchess wasn't the owner of the paintings. That left Elikophon and KZW with competing claims. Elikophon and KZW cross-moved for summary judgment. 